hello guys uh, so today we are going to start our journey with remote logins right in remote login we are basically uh, going to see two technologies what are those two technologies one is telnet and other one is ssh right so in this uh, telnet and ssh journey i would need your cooperation so that we can uh, think understand things thoroughly right we can understand things in a fun manner we can understand uh, things in a cooperative manner right it would be it would not be a monologue i would be asking you few questions as well as normal terms right so don't get afraid about uh, about that but i i need cooperation in one thing what is that one thing right so yeah telnet was invented in telnet was invented in decade of nine uh, 1970s to 1980s it took 10 years 10 15 years to implement this idea right actually it was implemented by apanet first time in the 1983 basically more precisely right so um, what i would require here is main aap se chahta hu ki aap yaar khud ko while learning this um, concept of art or telnet aap khud ko samajhiye ki aap इस इरा में राइट इन 1970s में है आप राइट बिकॉज प्रॉब्लम क्या है कि 2021 में हम बहुत सारी चीज़ें जानते हैं राइट वी नो हाउ द इन इंटरनेट वर्क्स राइट बहुत सारी चीज़ें में जानते हैं राइट टेलनेट को पढ़ते हुए आपको लगेगा ये यूजफुल नहीं है शायद क्योंकि आप बहुत ज़्यादा जानते हैं अभी राइट बट यार जैसे कहते हैं ना कि किसी का फ्यूचर बताने के लिए हमें उसकी बस हिस्ट्री देखनी चाहिए राइट टू बिल्ड अ फ्यूचर वी मस्ट लुक बैक टू हिस्ट्री राइट सो उसी तरह जैसे uh, हम टेलनेट में क्या किस चीज़ पे फोकस कर रहे हैं कि थिंकिंग क्या है मतलब उनकी थिंकिंग क्या थी टेलनेट uh, बनाते वक्त राइट तो इस चीज़ों पर फोकस करेंगे बट फॉर दैट आई नीड योर कोऑपरेशन और आप ऐसे समझ लिए कि मैंने कोई टाइम मशीन का जुगाड़ कर लिया और आपको 1970s में भेज दिया राइट अभी आपको इंटरनेट के बारे में इतना ज़्यादा पता नहीं है राइट आपके पास यूनिक्स है वॉइस के तौर पे जो कि टॉस बॉक्स में यूज़ होता है राइट कमांड्स लिखी जाएगी ऐसे समझ लिए आई होप यूल कंट्रीब्यूट मी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक राइट और इन दिस thing so let us begin our telnet and ssh journey so basically hum har unit ke start mein hum dekhenge ki what are the contents hum telnet mein aur ssh mein kya kya padhne wale hai right so aur unit khatam hone ke baad mein revision ke liye journey bahut important rahegi this is called as a mind map right so telnet aur ssh mein pehle aayega telnet basically telnet kya hota hai uske bare mein hum padhenge right next one is और और टेलनेट में और एसएसएच के बारे में भी पढ़ेंगे डिफरेंस बताएंगे दोनों के बारे में टेलनेट और एसएसएच में बस एक एक मेन डिफरेंस है देर इज ओनली वन मेजर डिफरेंस राइट इस चीज़ को मैं सस्पेंस रहूँगा क्या है वो डिफरेंस राइट क्योंकि जैसे हॉरर मूवीज में होता है राइट कि सस्पेंस रखे तो हम बहुत ज़्यादा कनेक्टेड रहते हैं हम देखते हैं आगे क्या होगा आगे क्या होगा राइट सो विद इन लर्निंग फन होने के लिए हमें वैसा ही करना पड़ेगा कुछ चीज़ों को सस्पेंस रखेंगे एब्सोल्यूटली जैसे ही टैलेंट खत्म हो जाएगा और जैसे जैसे ऐसे सच स्टार्ट हो जाएगा मैं आपको दो मेन डिफरेंस है वो बताऊंगा राइट सो या एंड प्लीज डोंट गूगल द डिफरेंस या टैलेंट में टाइम uh, शेयरिंग का कंसेप्ट होता है उसके बाद में लोकल लॉग रिमोट लॉग और लॉग राइट इन तीनों में क्या डिफरेंस है एनिविटी राइट एनिविटी है यहाँ पे एनिविटी में एनिविटी uh, एक यूनिवर्सल इंटरफेस है राइट यूनिवर्सल इंटरफेस किस चीज के लिए कि uh, जब भी हम जब भी हम टू दो हेट्रोजीनियस हेट्रोजीनियस सिस्टम्स यूज करेंगे राइट हेट्रोजीनियस सिस्टम्स यूज करेंगे जिसमें ओ अलग हो या कोई कॉन्फिग्रेशन अलग हो राइट डिफरेंस हो सकता है ओ में भी तो इन दोनों के बीच में मीडिएटर का काम करता है एन राइट इसके बारे में हम डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे एन के बारे में राइट सो दिस इज अबाउट एन 
एनिमेटी में दो कैरेक्टर्स होता है दैट इज डेटा कैरेक्टर एंड डेटा कंट्रोल एंड कैरेक्टर कंट्रोल दिस टर्म्स देन नेक्स्ट इज एम्बेडिंग एम्बेडिंग डिफरेंस लाइक हाउ वी यूज एम्बेडिंग इन एनिमेटी राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज ऑप्शन ऑप्शन क्या क्या प्रोवाइड किया किए जाता है टैलेंट के मीडियम से राइट वन इज बाइनरी एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ वी आर गोइंग टू सी ऑल दो ऑप्शन राइट एन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ सीमेट्री टेलेट प्रोवाइड सीमेट्री प्रॉपर्टी डिवाइस इक्वल राइट टू बुथ सर्वे एंड क्लाइंट दैन सब ऑप्शन निगोशिएशन क्या होता है उसको एग्जाम्पल के तौर पर हम पढ़ेंगे राइट कंट्रोलिंग द सर्वर्स सर्वर्स कैसे कंट्रोल किए जाते हैं और दोनों बैंड क्या होता है ये चीज़ें पढ़ेंगे और टेलनेट हाउ द टेलनेट वर्क उसके मूड्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन क्या होता है बेसिकली देर आर थ्री मूड्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन डिफॉल्ट कैरेक्टर मूड एंड थर्ड वन इज लाइन मूड ओके दिज आर दिज आर दरियस स्टेप्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन टेलनेट उसके बाद में हम डिफरेंस बता देंगे इशू क्या है उसके बाद में हम एस एस स्टार्ट करेंगे राइट सही है एक मिनट में रिमूव कर देता हूँ ये ओके आई होप सो सॉरी फॉर द इंटरव्यू एस एस एच में हम क्या देखेंगे कंपोनेंट्स कौन कौन से होते हैं एस एस के उसके बाद में फॉर्मेट कैसा होता है और फॉर फॉरवर्डिंग एक टेक्निक है उसके बारे में हम जानेंगे सो दिस इज द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस होल जर्नी राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद टेलनेट सेकेंड क्विक एग्जाम्पल Suppose you are a system admin administrator. You need to configure a certain service. You have to maintain a network within system, right? Within an office. So uh, let's say your office is located in a basement, and the servers are located at a server room, which is at a seventh floor, eight room, eight floors above you, right? So how do you uh, configure those uh, servers, right? Um, you'll need to Uh, uh, be assured that we are in 1970s, right? Here we don't have that much of connectivity that today we have, right? In 2021, right? So how one can configure those uh, servers? And we we'll, you'll need uh, twice or thrice a day to configure uh, this. You need to configure this servers twice or thrice a day, right? So the only option you have is by going physically to the server room, right? But this option is not physical. You may say that uh, I I can take a lift as well, but still it's not physical feasible because you need to uh, take away the task in your hand, right? Whatever you were doing, you have to leave that and just quickly go to the server room and you have to maintain that servers and configure those servers, right? So this 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 becomes very hectic, right? So the solution to that, some of the lazy engineers meet. Made something that can connect your PC in basement as to the um, servers located at the seventh floor, right? Eight floors above you. So, so how does they uh, do it? They have introduced a concept called the telnet or technology called telnet. Using telnet, we can connect to the, to those client and servers, right? Here, client is is you. Here client is you. You might not be seeing that. Here the client is you. So telnet ensures the connectivity between client and server, right? So what is telnet? Telnet is a general purpose client server application. Telnet uh, initially telnet was using NCP protocol, right? Then it is called as a T. It is called TNOP. And in 1983, Advanet introduced the first practical telnet. And now, currently, telnet, uh, uh, telnet is using TCP/IP protocol, transport control protocol, right? Uh, and it uses port number 23 for this client and server um, application uh, connectivity. So, telnet is a client uh, client and server application program. Here, in this example, you can see that. Client was accessing uh, what was pinging to the Google servers. Uh, we don't know though, where the Google servers are located. It might be on Pune location. It might be on Bangalore location. It might be on a Delhi location. We don't know that. It might be in London, right? 
we really don't know about the servers so this is the team of login exactly right we are pinging the uh, the server regardless of their distance right so that is the use of telnet okay so now let us see some of the features of the telnet right so first feature will be features of the features or services of the telnet right so we have seen that there is time sharing asymmetry control login right remote login local login local login and remote login and n number of properties uh, features we have in in, in telnet right so we are going to see all those uh, things in detail right so what is time sharing what is time sharing it's time sharing in time sharing oh we had uh, let us um many of us have studied about in unix right unix in unix we had a central computer right a large computer for which we have given various terminals right various terminals just there right so these terminals perform action on a central large computer right or central large cpu they perform various actions and operations on this um cpu right so how does this operation take place let us take a simple diagram here you can yeah so here we, we are going to snipe this one and put it into our current page here you can see that uh, central computer CPU is uh, located at the center and here consider here they have mentioned you consider this as a um, uh, any terminal right terminal so these are the terminals uh, the access given um, access is given to this terminal for a limited period of time that is why it is called as time sharing here you can see that on the basis of uh, on the readiness as well as um, according to status of this terminal time is shared right here you can see that uh, the terminal one just had a uh, transmission right terminal one just had a transmission here so they it is gone into wait state right it will uh, the, the access come back to a user one once it completes a current cycle right current um, cycle of the terminals right this is the concept of time sharing in uh, unix we can see this time sharing concept right this is about the time sharing the next one would be login right there are basically three types of login in internet we can see that there is simple login or uh, we log into our PCs or computer on a single system, right? First one is a sim simple login. In single computer, right? In single system. Next one would be local login. Sorry for my handwriting. So in local login we have seen a time sharing um, system right now so whenever user whenever user logs into to this time sharing into time sharing environment a system is called as what local login oh. In previous example let us say user one is logged into uh, a terminal is logged into a, a central cpu 
and it is called as a local login so terminal one is locally loaded and next one is remote login and before going to remote login uh, let's take a simple scenario um okay i just have another picture for that yeah this picture right here where i'll be scrapping this and adding to our program to our yeah current page so in this program so let's say let's take a scenario i have uh, entered i have entered on my cmd from or dos box right cmd or dos box right cd l pod x right X. but the actual path was only path um, not x right it was actually it should be it should have the y, y helper only right the uh, because of which uh, it might uh, cause error if we were in remote login very lucky but here we have terminal driver and terminal emulator we have two things terminal driver and terminal emulator here you can see that this is a uh, character data character you can say right character and this is control character right this may cause a mess in remote login they they may get mixed in the remote login but in on our local login we have terms called terminal driver and terminal emulator they know the meaning of each of this word right so this may not cause error in local call errors uh, in local login where right? there is no error no error error less right in local login Okay. the next concept is is remote login right so in what is the remote login whenever user whenever user wants to access the remote servers whenever user wants to log into remote servers then it is called as a remote login what what do we mean by remote we mean from a distance right from a distance location distant location a distance may be of 100 km 100 km or maybe more than 100 right so this is called as a remote login so we have covered um remote login right so in remote login what happens if two heterogeneous systems like if i have a windows system right windows and my server i was accessing some server and it has a unix system right let's say we are connected using telnet we have learned concept of it, right so these are this to our heterogeneous system right this to our heterogeneous system they are not same right these are yeah we are uh, this scenario mm -hmm. um, let's uh, let me uh, if i type control plus z it would mean su suspend the operation right control control z say operation suspend the but unix system mein hume agar um operation suspend karna hota hume control plus d hum lagana padega right this is suspend ho operation right so these things happen right in a heterogeneous system uh, windows pe mujhe power shell milega shayad yahan pe unix pe terminal hi mile right so these are various issues that we should take care of right while using uh, telnet right to avoid this what telnet has done 
लाइक चलो यार इसको एक सिंपल एग्जाम्पल के साथ समझते हैं इफ आई एम द पर्सन आई हैव अ फ्रेंड राइट ओके दिस पर्सन स्पीक्स मराठी दिस पर्सन स्पीक्स तमिल इफ डी वॉन्ट टू कम्युनिकेट राइट दे वॉन्ट टू कम्युनिकेट हाउ कुड दे दे कुड नॉट बिकॉज देर इज नो वन मेडिटेट देर देर मस्ट बी सम मेडिटेट मेडिटेटर सम पर्सन और समथिंग लाइक इन दिस केस if both of us can speak english and understand english then english act as a mediator right here english act as a mediator there is not no need of person as well so this language act as a mediator okay um uh, so such like that as english was acting as a mediator um there is there is term called nvt it act as a acts between two two different heterogeneous systems right it acts as a mediator between two different so abbreviation is network actually what does uh, okay let's let's kind of pro uh, image so that we can understand these things better here from my um from my article we are going to scrap seven things before that we need to clear this page right okay now i can scrap the things we are scrapping this image adding to our current page so yeah using that right so here we can say that From the terminal of client, this is the client, right? Client, um, characters are sent via terminal drive and driver, which will convert the characters and say, uh, uh, sorry, which will transfer the characters to telnet client, right? Telnet client uses TCP/IP protocol on port number twenty-three. This connection is established on port number twenty-three. ओके एंड वाया ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर इट वुड बी सेंड टू इंटरनेट हियर एनविटी प्लेज अर रोल हियर एनविटी वुड बी या कन्वर्टिंग बोथ कैरेक्टर सेट्स फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट टू एनविटी फॉर्मेट सो दैट इट कैन ट्रांसफर ओवर इंटरनेट एंड अगेन वंस टेलनेट सर्वर्स वैन यूर डेटा रिच थ्रू टेलनेट सर्वर Uh, again and uh, with the help of sudo terminal this character set uh nvt character sets are converted into receiver character set okay and they are delivered to respective servers okay this is how the um, nvt works um yeah so Again, we are taking uh, again one image. It will also explain the same stuff. Let me click pick this image to current. So here you can clearly see that this local computer character sets are. transfer via the telnet client to the internet while transferring to the internet this character sets are converted into nvt character sets nvt from nvt character sets to remote computer set and using sudo terminal sudo terminal why we use that it creates a relation to server that server does not need, don't need to think about to avoid uh, Now, uh, the avoid. Let's let's skip this point, right? So yeah, so we are going to use to create an illusion, illusion, um, um, so that
it's pseudo terminal creates an illusion so that uh, server thinks that server thinks ki jo data hai wo isi telnet server se aaya right or isi system se aaya so it creates that illusion right this is how the entire uh, enmity works in enmity we have two uh, types of characters one is control character other is data character data character right in control character if we have highest bit set to one and others bit seven bits are sent to or this eight bit uh, so yeah seven bits are sent in um set in yes sky this combined is called as a nvt sky sky right in data character we have the our highest bit set to zero and other bits other seven bits are set to according us sky again this is how this is the format of nvt so as we have seen data character and control character right they both are in by a uh, zero and one forms right in big forms right so uh, they there is possibility that they could get mixed right they could get mixed both they can like here one two three and still one two three right so it is possible that they get mixed right this possibility how to avoid this we for this we use embedding right mbt is having iec interpret as a control interpret as a control and second one is ec in character this type of flags or bits are used to avoid the collision right here in this case one two three b one two three and then iac or ec end of character then we would be starting in one zero two three right this is how the collision is avoided using mbt so we have explored most of the pictures of um, telnet the next picture i would going to uh, show is that is it is option actually it is an optional feature right it is an optional feature for most sophisticated most sophisticated terminals right that this sophisticated terminal allows various services right okay so there are uh, i'll scrap one table from my notes so this is the table i'll be scrapping it i don't know one book, open book yeah so options are extra features available to user with the most sophisticated terminal okay these are few of options right so first option is binary it tells about that a data is in, in the form of 8 bit right it is an 8 bit transmission just accept iac and control command right iac or ec right accept this accept only iac and ec and other control commands it tells that transmission in the form of it would binary okay the next is echo um echo is normal like whenever uh, like client sends something hi and if server echoes back like echo back and says hello or echoes back the same term hi this is called as a echoing right uh, we had one place um, at mahabaleshwar we had we have uh, echo point right where one uh, and at this point uh, we say hello it gets echo right hello 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 four to five times right this is the normal echoing example the next uh, okay sorry i have to scrap it back again right 
yeah or i'll write here only so this is about binary this is about echo suppress go ahead we will be seeing go ahead in next next topics right so we'll keep that no for now status it's that uh checks the status of the transmission right checks the status of telnet or command we have sent the next is timing mark when when that command or command was sent or telnet towards established terminal type there are types of term terminals if you type vd terminal then it would tell us type of terminal terminal speed next one is line mode right these are various options available to user so but before going to the options we would need some option negotiation we will be learning this sub option negotiation it is very necessary to have to look at this sub option um, negotiations first one we have is will second is won't third is do and fourth one is don't we really won't do don't right okay so we have seen this comments right mm. we won't don't don't oh uh, we are going to see this comments in brief uh not in brief in some detail manner right mm. so yeah we are taking an example of uh, restaurant first we will be learning will come here we will be going up enabling offer right and enabling and offer there are two types of offer to enable and there's offer to disable so okay so let me scrape script any of the image from my notes so here let me scrape this image I need to clean this up. Okay. So let me scrap this image. So till this point of time we have learned about options right now let us uh, learn some of the sub options right some options are very important right sub option negotiation um i'll pick uh, some there are four four sub options right first one is well second one is won't or third one is do or one is don't okay and we are going to um, look at this uh this sub options very quickly oh, so i will be taking an example right um here we are enabling an option or uh, enabling an offer right option option okay and here we have offering and enable and we have two situations and requesting is enable we, we we are going to take a simple example so kindly note these terms and then okay let's say i'm going to a restaurant okay restaurant here is the waiter the waiter comes and takes my order right what does he will be saying uh, he will be say, saying that we like take your order i take your order i'm written well for me i mean knowingly right your order i i either have two choices either i can drink water drink water and and refuse to say refuse 
supposed to order anything, right? Or I can order, like I, I could say, get me a french fries and a coke. And in this situation, what we are saying? So I'll scrap one diagram from my notes. Yeah, this diagram. I want to add it. In this scenario, who's the client? Who's the client? I am the client, right? Or in this case, uh, waiter will be saying that um will using will come out here saying that will be asking will I enable option uh, the server that I am I have two choices do or don't do order or don't order this is the offer enable I hope you're getting my point right so this is this works so now um next is request an enable situation is vice versa next time enable here the waiter would be asking me oh uh, sorry i would be asking i would be calling a uh, waiter right i want to eat this 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 right so here i am requesting an waiter that i want to eat this 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 and here waiter have two choices i if i ask for a french fries and french fries are not available he would say don't right i don't have this and or if ha he has he would be saying do I'll, I'll do get the one for you right this is how the entire stuff works in uh, offer offering and enable and requesting and enable right similarly um let's let's add it um twist to this uh, situation right um this is disabling it visibly and enable uh, sorry opting and disable and disable in this case in this example I was not satisfied with the service, right? I was not satisfied and uh, I gone to the manager of this hotel, right? And I had a word with him, which was no good, right? So in this case, we had a word and I would uh, say that, okay, I would be saying that I'm not satisfied with your service i won't be i will not come right again here here he just had one choice right he would be angrily saying that don't ever come right say so that don't ever come okay this is the offering and disable right here we don't have two choices here I have just one choice that is accepting right uh, similarly vice versa with requesting and uh, deciding okay this is how the entire stuff works uh, okay let me scrap this image of disabling and offer and requesting and offer right here here you can say that here we have said that um, I won't be using your services anymore and he will be saying don't use it we don't need you right <laughs> sort of and here um our client would be saying saying that don't ever uh, use option anymore use this option manager will be saying that don't ever come again and i'll say okay i um i can go anywhere rather than you yeah, right i won't be coming here 
this is sort of opening disabled requesting this is so symmetry the next option was symmetry in symmetry uh, we are ensuring that both client and and server gets equal opportunity of establishing and connection disconnecting through a, a connection right this is took care by some option negotiations right some option negotiation in some option ne negotiation we have s is some option and some option begin so using this control commands we uh, or control character we ensure the symmetry right next is controlling the server we know that um, they could the uh, number of uh, messages that can happen uh, while uh, within a remote login right if uh, we have took an example of cd file path x in local login there was no miss due to this extra x because uh, you know, it's terminal and emulator both knows about this file path x and it can see it does not um, add in, in, in a chaos but it could have chaos in remote login for this we use various um various factors such as uh, iec or ip which uh, interrupts the process which interrupts the process uh, EU is about the output where we need or we don't need to uh, avoid the entire process but we just want we just don't want output to be repeated at our terminals right this is about output next one is are you there whenever um, server in certain situation where server connection established hua tha bahut pehle time ka aur abhi koi transaction nahi hua from um, let's say from hour or two hour then us time pe hum check karenge ki um, connection uh, established hai ya nahi hai abhi bhi to us scenario mein hum ayt use karenge next is ec ec kya hota hai ye backspace mein jaise hum last character delete karte hai right वो इसी से होता है इरेज द लास्ट कैरेक्टर और इरेज लाइन इन नेक्स्ट लेवल पे है जो पुट की पूरी लाइन रिमूव करेगा जस्ट लाइक अ डिलीट वी हैव इन नॉर्मली इन आवर पीसीस राइट सो दिस इज अबाउट दिस कंट्रोल कमांड लेट्स टेक लेट्स सी द एग्जांपल शोन अबाउट फर्स्ट आई लीव इट्स दिस थिंग्स राइट दिस आई हैव टू इरेज दिस थिंग्स सो हेर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल ड्यूरिंग ट्रांजेक्शन वन सर क्लाइंट इज सेंडिंग रिक्वेस्ट टू लाइ एनेबल द Um, terminal option using will command right after will command we have iic and in interpret as a controller that saying that it is like a full stop request is sent then starting from iac right from the full stop um second transition happens or starts right so using to command uh, it, it is a server saying to client that yes please do enable the option right uh, it, okay then in third it or we have sc and sb now these are the some option negotiation using that uh, here iic from iic we would be starting t and v are the terminal types so we are uh, in option 3 that actually transmission happens the uh, editing happens right so here in third times you can see sc and sb right which are so sc and sb are basically used to determine the speed of terminal this is about the options uh, so this is about control out of band signal right
To make control characters more effective in certain situations, we use bad character, right? Out of bad signaling. Uh, it proceeds with the IAC character. Most of the out of bad signals consider uh, with the um, out of bad uh, out of bad IAC character. So, what is out of bad um, signaling? How does it works, right? To understand this, uh, let's take an example. Once upon a time, there was a village uh, naming Alwadi in some of the north states, right? Uh, there was a village naming Alwadi. There was two two radical groups, right? Two supremacist radical groups, and their own flags, maybe. Oh, okay. Let's not color those flags. And other group within a town, right? Within a town, other group. Okay. Uh, they had a clash between them and they usually had clash between them but this clash was really harsh right it became out of control uh, the even local police was not able to uh, handle this so because of which this creates a red zone right this is in red alert so the ministers or the higher authority decided uh, that they should call central reserve force crpf or srpf right you know that state reserve force central reserve force in special situation these forces are getting caught they are only crpf ko bula liya so crpf landed using helicopter helicopter se utar ke jab us area mein aa gaya jahan pe bhasad machi thi ek log ek insaan dusre ko maarne ko laga tha wahan pe army wale aa gaye ya crpf wale aa gaye aur with the power of gun or whatever we can say they have controlled the situation and situation becomes normal तो यार हमारे केस में हमें इनसे मतलब नहीं है वो कौन से रेडिकल ग्रुप्स थे उनकी आइडियोलॉजी क्या थी हमें उनसे मतलब नहीं है तो इस केस में जो सी आर पी एफ वर्क कर रहा है राइट दैट इज और एस आर पी एफ वर्क कर रहा है द सेम वर्क इज डन बाय आउट ऑफ बैंड सिग्नल राइट कभी कभी कोई कोई कैरेक्टर जो है इन्फाइट लूप में चले जाएगा राइट इन्फिनीटी में चले जाएगा कोई कैरेक्टर इन्फिनीटी में चले जाएगा उस टाइम पे क्या होगा कि इवन टीसीपी का वक्त भी फुल हो जाएगा दिस क्योंकि वो कैरेक्टर इन फाइनाइट टाइम्स में टाइम्स मतलब यूज हो रहा है और बफर तो उससे ही भर जाएगा उस टाइम पे क्या होता है कि टीसीपी सी अपने आउट ऑफ बैंड सिग्नल को कॉल करता है विद अ अर्जेंट फ्लैग विद अ अर्जेंट फ्लैग राइट तो अर्जेंट फ्लैग की वजह से टी में बफर में तो जगह बनानी ही पड़ती है राइट सो जैसे ही आउट ऑफ बैड सिग्नल आ गया जो जो कैरेक्टर इन्फाइट लूप में चला गया था उसको हम डिस्कार्ड करके रिमूव कर देंगे राइट दिस इज हाउ द आउट ऑफ बैड सिग्नलिंग वर्क्स सो कंट्रोलिंग जिससे इफेक्टिव हो सकती है मोड्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन बेसिकली देर आर थ्री मोड्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन फर्स्ट वन इज डिफॉल्ट मोड second is character mode third is line mode so in default mode the operation is client um, operation between client and server is half duplex so as operation is half duplex um, it would require much more, more time it would uh, raise issues with the time concern right so um, we are discarding just we are not using default mode even tcp uses a full duplex mode so for this reason we are not using full uh, default mode in character mode here the let me take a slide yeah. here what happens in character mode 
in character mode client and server needs to establish connection then it will be sending will and in return it will first need to send an acknowledgement otherwise the second transmission would not be possible right so here again in trans um let's say connection connection is established then what after transmission again it needs to send acknowledgement otherwise next transmission to could not be initiated right so cannot be initiated right so this creates overheads right that this would require again a time whenever longer transmission happens like it happens then it would create overhead right this because one uh, till that point uh agar transmission khatam nahi hua to acknowledgement may be uh, acknowledgement bhi nahi aayega right so because of which it will uh, it would create uh, overheads and this is this is acceptable but this method is acceptable but not the best and we can say that right so next is line mode in line mode we compensate compensate the uh, deficiency of both 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 of the um, modes right in this we have full duplex communication plus we can edit uh, lines right on the group uh, this kind of um, transmission is called as a line mode uh, transmission here uh, in this mode of transmission we don't need acknowledgement while transmission right we would be requiring uh, acknowledgement while establishing or disconnecting the servers right here we would be requiring acknowledgement once the con uh, connection gets built but after that we can send transmission one transmission to without any kind of acknowledgement right transmission three these are the three moves the next we can say that the security bit so we have seen the options symmetry and most of the operations right now let's take a look at the security bit of yaar a security se yaad aaya agar aapke whatsapp message navika ne hack kar le to aapko kaise lagega right um secure navika hack kar paye kyunki somehow somehow there was issue in whatsapp right there 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 is some bug. there there must be a some bug right but yaar tell me tell net mein to pura ka pura bug hai pura ka pura jo data hai jo control hai data uh, character control character that that is sent in the format of text there is no there is neither ne, uh, there is uh, not a single encryption in telnet right so any third party can access this um access this uh communication right access this uh, privacy access your privacy you might think that i i don't have anything to hide right um, you might think i am a open book but yaar aap sahi mein dekh sakte ho ki aap 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 nahi chahenge ki ki aisa koi ho jo aapke bare mein poos a to z cheeze jaayenge right in 21st century data is called as audit right using our data and the and enterprises know our buying habits uh, our eating habits even even uh, our living standards right so this is an uh, this raises an a uh, privacy issue right this should be avoided right to avoid this right to avoid this issue of telnet we have a term called secure shell right we have secure shell Uh, it provides all the facilities that telnet provides plus with security right we are going to discuss this secure shell in next video more concern so